Okay, welcome back. Uh, this video segment is going to be about the measuring the center of gravity. <coughs> excuse me, center of gravity or CG of the airplane. Uh, this is page uh, ten of the manual, and right there it says that the CG is somewhere between sixty-three and sixty-six millimeters. So I'm going to mark that um, on both wings, and. Uh, <coughs> So I've got my little six inch ruler here, metal ruler, and I have lined up the beginning of the millimeter side right um, at the beginning of the um, bleeding edge of the wing. And so I'm going to mark 63 and 66. So there is 1, 2, 3, 63. And there is 66. Okay. Now, what I've noticed is 63 and 66 is a pretty small area. And uh, if I were to go around here and grab a pencil, the head of a pencil here, um, uh, the eraser side of a pencil um, and drop it down right where that mark is vertically it is actually uh, just in front of this and slightly in the way of the, um, of the fairings so um, however I think I can uh, do that uh, measurement. It's going to be vertical enough. All right, so we'll we'll leave that. Um, I'm going to stop the camera and mark the other side the same way. Okay, so the first thing I uh, did was mark the uh, um, both wings uh, where the center of gravity should be, and right now the battery is not in. And so when I do this, I like to do it without the battery first, just to see where it is without the battery and see whether the battery should be on which side of the center of gravity. For this airplane, you may note that uh, the center of gravity is right here, and that's right in line with where the battery sits. So the battery is almost dead center on the center of gravity. So the center of gravity may not matter much. Okay. Um, uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is the old finger test here. So I'm going to put one finger there, around here, put one finger here, hold it with my thumbs, and let go. Okay? And you can see that's pretty balanced without the battery in it. Okay? Um, now the finger test isn't the most accurate, but believe me, it's, for this airplane, probably accurate enough. Um, I will use a center of gravity machine at some point, uh, but I'm just going to test it this way first. Okay? Um, uh, let me get set up, put the battery in. I'll be right back. <clears throat> okay, I got the battery hatch open, and the first thing I'm going to do is mark where the center of gravity is inside the uh, airplane here, just by eyeball. Doesn't have to be 100% accurate, but just by eyeball, I'm going to mark where the center of gravity is. Okay? And. Uh, so if you look at where that is, uh, hope you can see this. Yeah, you can see the two little black lines there. So that those two little black lines are toward this side of the fuzzy um, Velcro. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the and I'm I'm going to uh, use both batteries. I'm going to do a center gravity test with the 1300 first, and then I'm going to and I'm going to mark that, so I'm going to say, you know, that's where the center of gravity, uh, this is where the battery should be when the center of gravity is in the right place. So, and I'll do the same thing with the 1800. <clears throat> so, what I'm going to do now is um, just roughly put the battery so that it's in the middle of um, so that the center of the batteries is uh, right where those two uh, black marks are inside. 
Okay. Don't need to plug it in. Uh, no, no reason to plug it in for a center gravity test. Then we're going to close that. And uh, uh, now I'm going to sit down and turn the airplane over and do another finger test. So here we go. So there's one finger. There's the other finger. Let go of the thumbs. And uh, that's pretty darn level. It, if anything, it is, nah, I call that, I gotta say slightly nose heavy, but uh, actually I don't think it is. It's rocking back and forth right, I think, where it should be. Okay, so um, I'm gonna set this down, stop the camera, and go get the CG machine and uh, show you how you do it with a CG machine. Be right back. So I'm back. Uh, here's the CG machine. You can see it's the Great Plains uh, CG machine and uh, it's a pretty handy tool. Um, probably a bit more accurate than the uh, fingers. And so what the CG machine consists of is a, a two stands like this and a little swivel top and uh, a ruler and the center of the ruler you can set to now I'm going to set it to 64 and a half millimeters okay so that that is now set to somewhere right between 64 and 65 which would be the center of the center of gravity um, so I'm going to set that one and I'm going to set this one to the same spot Okay, so that's set, and uh, yep, that's set. And it's a simple matter of just in installing these uh, uh, rods, two rods into one side, and then uh, now I want to get this right. Uh, so, um, the, CB, the CG machine is going to sit in this direction, so I want um, this, this one where the, where the uh, ruler's on the outside to be on the outside. So I'm going to push this one in a little further, and then I'm going put, to put this one on. And then open these up enough to uh, uh, give me a minute. Let me get this set where I want it. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. And uh, in order to use a CG machine on this airplane, um, because the CG machine is going to actually sit between the um, gear and the strut, um, I had to remove the two rulers. So. Um, what I'm going to do is set the airplane up on the CG machine in where the it's in front of the landing gear I'm sorry behind the landing gear and in front of the strut I'm going to just set that as generally close to the mark I have on the wing okay and that's pretty level but I don't know if it's at the right distance yet or not so I'm going to stick the two rulers in push it back to 64 and a half, 65, something like that. Okay, and then stick the other ruler in. Okay, so the ruler is in the right place. 
Now, what I'm going to do is um, turn this a little bit so you can see it. Um, I'm going to, this little mark, um, vertical piece there should be at the leading edge. This little piece here should be at the leading edge. And the battery is in place. And I'm going to say that that is pretty level. Let me move this over just a little bit more. I'm going to check the ruler. Make sure the ruler is in the right spot. That one is. Okay, both rollers are in a good spot, and uh, the CG, if you want to be 100% accurate, I'll, I'll actually add these back on just to, uh, although they don't weigh a whole lot, see if I can balance them back in there. There's one. Yeah, no, it's not going to, is it, well, let me see here, let me see if I can get these to be put on here. Not playing the game of pickup sticks here, but the weight of this plastic is immaterial to the CG at this point. But we'll we'll try it anyways. Okay, so um, the fairings are more or less in place, and uh, didn't change the CG at all. Okay, so um, the center of the battery. Um, the center of the battery being on the CG uh, mark inside the cabin is where you want to put that. And that's, every airplane can be slightly different, uh, although these, the way these are uh, mass produced, I suspect they'll all be about the same. Uh, but you do have to measure it. Fingertip and uh, works okay. This is a bit more accurate. You, you want this thing to be um, a bit nose heavy, not tail heavy. So that's tail heavy. That's right in the middle. And so I'm going to say that's a good CG. Um, uh, next I'm going to stop and uh, put the other battery in. We'll see if that works too. Okay, I'm back and I've got my three uh, um, 1800 milliamp hour batteries. And I use uh, a large roll, two inch wide roll of um, industrial grade uh, Velcro. And uh, so from that I cut three strips and uh, I'm going to go ahead and put those on. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I've got my Velcro on the back of this. By the way, you can use any kind of Velcro. It doesn't have to be industrial strength. I there's this is a box of Velcro that I bought at Ace Hardware because it's nice size, three uh, seven eighths of an inch square. I'd use two squares on on the on the piece, so you've got a nice uh, uh, surface to hold. But uh, so I've got those ready, and uh, I also went ahead and marked on the front here the center of the battery. So I'm going to match the center of the battery to the center line of the CG that I marked inside the cabin. And I'm going to have the, the lead, this lead, point toward the nose because that's where the uh, connector is uh, from the ESC, electronic speed control. So I'm just going to generally, as accurately as you can by eye, line that up, the, the lines on the battery to the lines in the cabin where the center of gravity is. Again, no need to um, plug the battery in. Connect that. And uh, then we'll put it back on the CG machine here. Turn the camera. Between the wheels and and the uh, struts. Okay, that's generally in the right position. I'm gonna stick my two rulers back in. Set it for about 
65, 64 and a half millimeters. Okay, that's good. Move that back where it's supposed to be. Stick this one in. Back to 64 and a half right there. I'm going to move the stand out of the way now just so it doesn't bump the stand. There we go. All right, so let me um, put this little uh, marker there on the wing leading edge. So Ruler's right, ruler's right, and um, zoom in a little bit here. I'm going to stop the camera a second. thought it might be easier to hand hold this shot so you can see that the um, center is at 64 and a half. You can see that the arm there is uh, at the leading edge. Same thing on this side. Um, and also you can see down here that that's not touching. Uh, still is balanced. And so it's in front of the strut and behind the wheel and balanced. So I think uh, with this battery mounted in the center it, uh, it's going to stay balanced. So no matter what battery you use, um, find the center of the battery, put it on the center line of the of the uh, CG, and it should work. Okay, CG balance is complete for both batteries. Thank you.